The mascot platformer craze of the early 90s has a lot to answer for. In the wake of Sonic the Hedgehog, all manner of developers threw their hats into the ring to try and score some of that sweet, sweet market share. But what happens when you go too far? Take Bubsy, strip away some of the polish, add in a layer of environmental preachiness, mix well, then pour into a highball glass. You, my friend, have just made an awesome possum. The game exemplifies all of the flaws associated with a second-rate mascot platformer. The graphics are passable, but the screen frequently looks cramped and cluttered. The controls are slippery, and the game moves way too fast for its own good. The level design ensures that the minute you start to pick up speed, you'll run headfirst into a wall, or fall off a cliff, or straight into a bad guy. And to top it off, he never, ever, ever shuts up. Awesome, awesome, kick stuck to the sheet of I'm awesome! The weirdest thing is that there are these strange educational undertones to the game. Dr. Machino, who is totally not related to Dr. Robotnik, no siree, has evil plans that will destroy the world's ecosystem. This leads to perhaps the most bleak game over screen of the whole generation. This is a weird game. It tries to be educational, but without being good enough to earn the respect of the player first. Sorry, Awesome Possum, your name just isn't really appropriate. <laughs>